gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta gotta stop playing this, gotta stop, gotta gotta stop, gotta stop, gotta playing this. What's up, gamers? I'm John, and welcome back to Level Up Dudes, where I bring you the latest and greatest in gaming news every day. Today's November 26, 2024, and we've got a stacked lineup. From Shuhei Yoshida leaving PlayStation after 31 years and World of Warcraft's essential new movie to big updates for Star Wars, Outlaws, and discussions about live service games. We're also diving into Alan Wake 2's delayed PS5 Pro patch, BioWare's humanoid origins shutdown, and controversies around honoring player choices in Dragon Age. Let's get you leveled up with today's news, and don't forget to join our Discord to share your thoughts. PC Gamer reports that Shuhei Yoshida, one of the most influential figures in gaming, is leaving PlayStation after 31 years. Known for his visionary leadership and a few iconic mic drop moments, Yoshida played a key role in shaping PlayStation into the powerhouse it is today. From launching beloved franchises to handling the infamous How to Share Games PS4 roast, his impact on the industry is undeniable. Yoshida called his time at PlayStation a dream job, but he's stepping away to pursue personal passions. Fans and industry professionals alike are showing him with heartfelt messages and tributes. His departure marks the end of an era for PlayStation, leaving us wondering what's next for Shuhei Yoshida and what's next for PlayStation. Let me know your thoughts down below. Variety reports that World of Warcraft is celebrating its 20th year anniversary with in-game events and a flurry of speculations about a potential new movie. Blizzard has teased that they're exploring ways to expand the franchise's lore, leading fans to hope for a return to, to cinematic as well. While the original 2016 Warcraft movie received mixed reviews, it found success overseas, leaving room for a sequel or reboot. The 20th year anniversary festivities have already reignited discussions about the game's future as Blizzard continues to tweak its formula. With decades of lore and a massive fan base, could this be the perfect time for WoW to hit the big screen again? What do you think? Should Blizzard double down on another movie or focus on its next expansion? Let me know your thoughts down below. Inverse reports that Alien Dark Descent, a tactical squad based game set in the iconic sci-fi universe is coming to Game Pass. This surprise edition has excited fans of the franchise, offering them an easy way to jump into the atmospheric horror experience. The game challenges players to manage resources, plan carefully, and survive against relentless waves of exomorphs. Critics praise its unique approach to the alien formula, blending tense strategy with action-packed moments. The Game Pass inclusion is a big win for players who have been on the fence about picking it up. Will this move help the game find a larger audience? Let me know what you think down below. Games Radar reveals insights from a former Dragon Age and Anthem producer on pitfalls of live service games. They noted many of these titles fail because they underestimate the competition, particularly juggernauts like World of Warcraft, which have evolved dramatically over decades. The producer argued that new live service games focus too much on monetization and not enough on long-term player satisfaction. Examples like Anthem make highlight how chasing trends can lead to short-lived success. Fans are increasingly skeptical of live service model demanding games that prioritize quality over cash grabs. Will studios learn from past mistakes or are they doomed to repeat the same mistakes over and over? Eurogamer reports that Alan Wake 2's PS5 Pro optimization patch is facing delays, leaving players eager for the update in limbo. Remedy Entertainment has promised that the patch will deliver significant visual and performance improvements, but the timeline remains unclear. The game already impressed critics with its haunting visuals and storytelling, but PS5 Pro users were hoping for an even more polished experience. Some players are questioning whether the delay hints at technical challenges with the Pro's new hardware. Remedy has assured fans that the patch will be worth the wait. Are delays like these necessary evil for quality? Gaming Bible reports that PlayStation is working on a new handheld device to rival the rumored Nintendo Switch 2. Sony has hinted that their next-gen handheld will blend portability with high-end performance, targeting gamers who want console quality experiences on the go. This comes as Nintendo continues to dominate the hybrid market, leaving many curious about how PlayStation plans to differentiate itself. Industry analysts speculate that price and exclusive games will play a key role in the competition. Fans of portable gaming are excited to see how this battle squares up. Are we entering a golden age of handheld gaming or is there room only for one top dog in this race? Kotaku reports that Star Wars Outlaws has received a major patch addressing bugs, adding new content, and tweaking gameplay mechanics. Highlights include balance changes, quality of life improvements, and the introduction of a new Lando DLC. 
Fans have praised the developers for their quick response to the community feedback, although some argue that these fixes should have been included at launch. The game's open world design continues to attract players, but ongoing improvements will be the key for its long-term success. With the new DLC offering fresh storyline missions, will Outlaws find its place among Star Wars gaming classics? The Verge reports that Bioware has officially shut down Humanoid Origins, a project that once held immersive promise for sci-fi RPG fans. Creative differences and budget restraints are rumored to be the reasons behind its demise. Fans are disappointed with many laminating the potential loss in what was supposed to be a groundbreaking narrative-driven experience. This news comes amid broader industry discussions about rising development costs and the pressure to deliver instant hits. Bioware has stated they'll focus on their existing franchises like Dragon Age and Mass Effect. Is the end of Humanoid Origins a sign of shifting priorities or a casualty of the industry's growing challenges? GamesRadar reveals that the Dragon Age creator David Gator has stirred up controversy by admitting that honoring previous player choices is nearly impossible. He explained that divergent plot lines often lead to logistical nightmares with limited resources forcing teams to simplify decisions. While some fans appreciate the honesty, others feel that these admissions undermine the series legacy of player-driven storytelling. The debate has reignited discussions about what role choices should play in RPGs and whether developers owe players the illusion of impact. Can the Dragon Age series maintain its repetition for meaningful choices, or is it time to rethink how they're implemented? Let me know your thoughts down below. And that's a wrap for today's gaming news. From Shuhei Yoshida's departure to World of Warcraft's 20th anniversary and beyond, we covered it all. Don't forget to join our community on Discord to share your thoughts, connect with other gamers, and get exclusive updates. The invite link is down below. Drop a comment below, hit that like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you never miss out on Level Up News. See you next time, gamers. Gotta stop, gotta, gotta stop. Gotta, gotta stop, gotta, gotta stop playing this. Gotta stop, gotta, gotta stop. Gotta stop, gotta play this game.